So this thing with dogs, if you could really get inside a dog's head and see the world from the dog's perspective, through the eyes of the dog, how would that look like? How would that world look like? In today's world, there's so many demands on us human beings to be a certain way, to follow rules, to be the good pet owner, dog owner, the good parent. And it's really interesting because many of these things that we think we need to live up to, these rules or labels, they create a lot of obstacles for us in our relationship to our dog. Because the dog is, like she's doing here right now, is sleeping. It's very normal for the dog to sleep at least 15 hours per day. But many dogs, they don't sleep that long. They are stimulated, activated, there's things going on. They might have separation issues, so they need to be with the owner all day in the car, or at work or whatever. Um, and I hear, I hear a lot of people say that there's a need for the dog to not be bored and activated. And if you remember that this creature in front of you right now is actually coming from nature. In nature, there's no things that will um, entertain you. There's the pack. There is other pack members and the fun you make with those pack members. And then there's a great desire to focus on the pack to survive, like fighting food and keeping danger away. So this is the natural path of the dog. This is why they look like they do. This is why they have these big paws, they have nails, they have uh, big teeth in their mouth. This is a predator. Of course, a predator that is domesticated to our human world. But nevertheless, this is not a dog that is asking for me to do things for her. She's just asking to have a safe spot in this house, in the family. And she's asking me to show her the frames of what is allowed and what is not allowed. And she's not asking for um, a dominant way to tell her off, or she's asking for cooperation, um, relationship, bond, and um, not just obedience training, you have to do this when I tell you. So for me to expect her to be available for me whenever I want it, and not give her the, the true nature of her language back is not possible. So it is really a relationship you create with your dog. And um, that relationship is going to help you when you want to take a dog out to cafes, maybe on a train ride, a car ride, on a holiday, or even when people are taking care of your dog when you're on holiday. So this is really looking, taking a step back and seeing the world through the eyes of the dog. What does my dog need to fit in this world that is so overwhelming to even us humans at times? Um, and why do I even leave the house? What, what does that even mean to her? When I leave the house, I leave the pack. She doesn't know that I'm just going to buy some food or maybe I'm just going to go and get the mail. Um, she doesn't know. So my job is to keep her stress free. So she can just enjoy sleeping, eating, um, going for walks, interacting with her pack and, and just be like non-stressful, harmonious in her body. And that requires me to learn her language. That requires me to understand how she works, how to communicate with her. And I don't mean in human language, sit, yes, no, lie down, all that stuff. Um, it's about the nonverbal things going on. It's about body language. It's about really getting to know a whole new language. Like if you would learn Spanish, you haven't heard Spanish before, it would take some time for you to integrate. It would take, it would take, it would take for you to be curious in how do I learn that language? How does that work? How do I learn the codes, the nonverbal codes of that language? So this is of course a, a big, bigger picture than just a few um, details I'm talking about, but I'm really talking about taking that step back. And as I always say, the best thing you can do in a relationship with your dog is choose yourself and let the dog be secondary, not, 
not meaning that the dog is not important, but the dog doesn't want to be sitting on your dinner table and everybody looking at it. It's not beneficial for the dog because it gives it a lot of responsibility in a world that it doesn't really understand. And that creates a lot of stress and symptoms um, in the dog and in the owner as well, because the only things that the owner is not performing as well as they should. So they try to do a lot of things to compensate, for example, stimulate, going to a lot of different dog classes. Um, and it doesn't really help the dog because the dog is saying, I don't understand what you're doing. I want us to get back home and connect um, in, a, in a place where we're safe. It doesn't help me to take me out on 10 different um, courses with a lot of different dogs and I'm confused. So whenever you as a dog owner feel the need to, if you have a back conscious about not being a good dog owner or um, you feel not done your job good enough, just sit down and take a breath. Take a breath and just take it easy and tell yourself you're doing it good enough. The dog is not expecting you to do a thousand things with it or him or her. The dog is expecting you to be present and connect with your dog. So just try and use these few techniques I'm describing and try to see the world through the eyes of the dog and really see that most dogs has a very, very high stress level, which causes symptoms like pulling on the lead, overactive behavior, always wanted to be petted, panting all the time, difficulties with being home alone, difficulties with meeting other dogs, being reactive, um, difficulties with just um, settling in if you're stopping to talk to someone on the walk, um, biting things, whining, a lot of things. All these are symptoms of the cause, which is you and your dog not connecting and bonding in the right way, being present. So. This is such a big, huge experience to you if you see this and you start to dive into the language of the dog. It's going to tell you so many things. It's like the dog is going to be your GPS to how you feel as well. So I hope you like my thoughts about this and you got to meet my beautiful dog, Mooney, here. She is a rescue from Portugal. It was really a miracle how she got to me. And she's one of my greatest teachers. She is um, She's fantastic. Enjoying life. Thank you.